man, people really need to cut that fucking narrative that uh, Shasan was winning the fight and then Irene got lucky. Like, the way people talk about this fight, like, they really, really exaggerate the hell out of Shasan's performance. They literally act like, oh, Shasan looked like the better fighter and was winning until she got caught, like Usman versus Edwards too, and that's not how this fight played out at all. Like, people will literally ignore Irene Aldana's dominant first round. They will ignore how she dominated Macy in the first round, won in the stand-up, and then defended a takedown, uh, rolled with a takedown, ended up on top, and destroyed Shasan on the ground. And should have got a first round sub, but Macy Chasson, she tapped, and the ref didn't see it. And then, you know, Chasson's got a flexible arm, so she was able to avoid getting her arm broke. Um, it seemed like she kind of cheated her way out of getting subbed, though. I don't want to say for sure, but it kind of feels like she just used that tap as like a technique to like maybe make Aldana let go or think that the fight's done. But well played, because it worked in her favor, right? But... Aldana destroyed her in the first round, but no one talks about how Irene dominated round one. They all talk about how, oh, Shasan dominated round two and had Aldana in so much trouble. That's so bad. She exposed Irene. And it's like, no one gives her credit for at least showing composure and being able to survive adversity and then come back and win the fight no one gives her that credit and that really pisses me off that really pisses me off Shasan wasn't handily winning the fight they were one and one going into round three and then in the third round people forget that Aldana was actually winning the stand-up before Macy Shasan took her back down she was winning the stand-up and then Shasan got a takedown and Aldana was about to feet on hips push her off but landed a kick to the liver, which ended the fight. But if that liver kick didn't land, Aldana could have just pushed her off and got back up and then continued out striking her for the rest of the third round and defended more follow-up takedowns. Like, Aldana could have still won this fight. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. The, The better fighter won like she was meant to, okay? The odds were literally stacked against Irene Aldana here, okay? She literally made weight. And then Shasan literally couldn't make 135 and they did a catch weight last minute. So Irene had to like reverse the weight cut, rehydrate in a short span of time and gain like three uh, pounds in like a few hours. So she was at a disadvantage in weight, you know, Shasan came in as a weight bully uh, and had that advantage um, and also fake tapped, ruined Aldana's momentum and almost took over but again the better fighter won as should be and who ended the fight like this i mean look at this right here who's on the floor who got finished right who's standing over her in victory irene aldana so why does it matter so much to people that shasan dominated uh why does it matter to them so much that shasan dominated The second round, I mean, she had a good second round, and that is concerning going into the Amanda Nunes fight. I understand that. I totally get it because you want to show good defensive grappling going up against Nunes, but I don't think her grappling looked that bad. She just made a rookie mistake when she got taken down. She should have took advantage of when she kicked Macy off. She should have feet on hips pushed her off, but she pursued the leg lock, didn't let go got her back taken and she paid for that mistake but i guarantee she's gonna go back to the drawing board learn from that mistake and step it up to the next level i guarantee it and i can't wait to see her fight for the belt in a few months and i'm praying that my girl aldana gets it done but please cut her some slack from that Shasan fight all right and watch the fight again Because Macy didn't clearly have the upper hand the whole time until she got caught. It was an even fight and Aldana got robbed of a first round finish. But then ended up getting a third round finish. A unique finish that we've never seen before. An up kick from off her back to the liver. That's just epic as fuck. I mean, you just can't make this stuff up. You just can't script this shit any better. I mean, that's just poetic the way karma literally worked in Irene Aldana's favor 
you know, being robbed of a first round finish, Chasson coming in overweight with an unfair advantage, only for Irene to still come back and get an even better finish in round three. But Aldana, she deserves all the credit in the world for being able to overcome adversity. And like I said, being able to get a finish like that. And it wasn't luck. It was technique. She did that intentionally. And the finish was beautiful. Goodbye.